Hi this is Inval Innovation YouTube channel in this video we will see about how to install and set up flutter in the visual studio code and we will create a skeleton project in the flutter using flutter create and then deploy in the android emulator and browser of your own choice in this process we will also see about different issue we might face and resolve those issues first we need to download the flutter sdk to download it go to the flutter.dev It is the official Flutter website. Navigate to Docs and click Install Flutter from the menu. In this page, select the operating system of your choice. Mine is Windows, so I am selecting Windows operating system. Now download the Flutter SDK by clicking the Flutter Windows 3.3.2 stable dot zip. Once downloaded, unzip the Flutter SDK. I am unzipping in the D drive. inside flutter folder you can keep your flutter sdk in any drive as you wish this will take some time to unzip once the unzip is completed i am deleting the zip file to save some memory space now we need to add the bin folder to the path variable to edit the environment variable type environment in the search and click edit the system environment variables in the system property window click the environment variables button In the user variable section, select the path variable and click edit. Here, click new and add the bin folder path to the Flutter SDK. In my case, I have downloaded the Flutter SDK to D Flutter, so the bin folder is in D Flutter bin. I am adding this folder to the path variable. Click save and to manage the Android emulator You need to install the Android Studio. You can even install Android SDK without the Android Studio, but with Android Studio you get Device Manager and also this IDE is nice. Visual Studio Code is lightweight editor. That's why I use Visual Studio Code. Click Download Android Studio. This initiates the download. Once the executable file is downloaded, then click the EXE to start the installation. Select the folder where you need to install the Android Studio. Then select Next. Click Install. This will start the installation process. And then select uh, Next. Once it is completed, click Finish. If there is no SDK, then we will automatically get the missing SDK window. Select Next in this window. Select the location you need to download. and install the android sdk this is important for android app development click next here select the accept check box and click finish once the download completes click finish next download and install visual studio code in my case i have already installed visual studio code in my system installing visual studio code is fairly simple If you need some guidance I already have a video how to install Visual Studio Code the link of which I have provided in the description Now you need to set the Android SDK folder in the Flutter config To do that open the command prompt To open the command prompt enter cmd command in the start and press enter enter the command flutter config iphone iphone android iphone SDK followed by the path where the Android SDK is installed. Do not get confused between the Flutter SDK and Android SDK. Android SDK is the one which we installed along with Android Studio. That is different from Flutter SDK. In my case, I have downloaded the Android SDK in D Android SDK, so I am giving this path here. To validate our Flutter installation, use the command flutter doctor. Here we have three issues. We need to install the command line tools. To install the command line tools, go to the Android Studio, click the three dots in the right top corner and select SDK Manager in the drop down. In the left options, expand system settings and select Android SDK. In the right hand side window, navigate to the SDK Tools tab and select Android SDK command line tools checkbox. and click apply in the confirm changes pop up click okay click finish once the command line tools are installed and click okay 
Now you can able to see the command line tools folder in the Android SDK. Run the Flutter Doctor command again. Now command line issue is gone. Now you need to accept the Android licenses. To accept the licenses, enter the command Flutter Doctor iPhone iPhone Android iPhone licenses. Enter Y to the question Review license that have not been accepted. In my case, I need to accept six licenses. Accept all the six licenses by entering Y for each license. If you are planning to develop desktop application for Windows, then you need to install the desktop development with C++. Feel free to skip this section if you are not planning to convert your Flutter application to a Windows desktop application. If you want to create desktop application, follow along with this section. Go to the website visualstudio.microsoft.com slash downloads and download community edition of Visual Studio. One thing you need to aware of is Visual Studio is completely different from Visual Studio code. Click free download button. Visual Studio setup.exe will be downloaded. Once it is downloaded, click this exe to install. This will open the Visual Studio installer. In the workload tabs, scroll down and select development with C++. Change the location you need to install the Visual Studio and Visual Studio packages and click install. Once it is installed, run the flutter doctor command again. Now everything is green. We are done with our flutter installation. Now we will create a sample flutter project for that. I will create a new folder named book and open the Visual Studio code here. To open a Visual Studio code from any directory, enter the command cmd in the address bar. This will open the command prompt by targeting this folder and here enter the command code space dot. The dot is used to mention the current directory. This will open the Visual Studio code in this particular directory. Here click trust checkbox and click yes. Click terminal menu and select new terminal in the drop down. In the open terminal, enter the command flutter create followed by the project name. Here I am naming my project as book. Once the skeleton project is downloaded, navigate inside the book folder and enter the command flutter run. For now since I don't have any emulator opened, I am getting three options. Windows or Chrome or Edge. I want to open the application in the Chrome browser, so enter the option corresponding to the Chrome. In my case, it is 2, so I am entering 2 here in the Chrome browser. This will open the skeleton project in the Chrome browser. This project is a default counter project. It will count the number of times the plus button is clicked. All the code for this will be found in the live folder. Enter Q to stop the application. Now we will run the same application in the Android emulator. For that I need to create a virtual device. Open the Android studio and click the three dots in the right top corner and select virtual device manager. In the device manager select create device. In the phone section select desired phone of your choice. I am selecting pixel 6 and click next. Select any release name. Here I am going with the latest Android operating system currently which is Tiramisu. Click the download button next to the Tiramisu. It will download the Tiramisu version of Android system image. Click finish once the system image is downloaded. Select next and click finish. Start the Pixel 6 virtual device. Now enter the command flutter run in the terminal or command prompt. This will automatically open the project in the Android emulator since it is started. It will take some more time for the first time launch. If you are getting install failed insufficient storage issue, open the virtual device configuration and change the internal storage to 16 GB or at least 8 GB or more than that. And enter the command flutter run again. This will open the flutter application in the Android emulator. Now we have seen how to create a Flutter application in Visual Studio Code and then how to run that in browser or Android emulator. You can even wire your physical Android device and you can even run the application directly there.
plugins are the main reason people are attracted towards visual studio code so there are a lot of useful plugins in the visual studio code to support flutter development so here these are all the different plugins i am using and i found those things are really helpful those things are search flutter in the plugins install flutter flutter widget snippet flutter files flutter tree and flutter color these are some of the plugins which i found useful thanks for watching this video for more technical video consider subscribing to this channel if you like this content share it with your friends thanks for watching